Hey, what's up, folks? Well, I know y'all are not used to being this much time between videos, but uh, it's hard to make uh, fishing videos when you're not having any success fishing. After the freeze, uh, I gave it a while before I even made the first trip out. And I've only been twice since the freeze. And uh, the first trip I made was, uh, was close to some really deep water. And uh, I thought, you know, if there was any <clears throat> decent kind of survival rate, that, uh, and plus this area in April always had lots of trout and redfish. But anyway, I fished, I fished miles of shoreline. And in all that time, I had one strike. And that one strike, I'm pretty sure was a Jack Cravel. It was not a trout or a redfish. The, uh, the weather conditions were decent. They weren't, I mean, it wasn't, you know, like perfect, but it was good enough uh, to catch fish. The second trip <clears throat> was absolutely, I mean, you could not have asked for better conditions. It was, it was the right barometer. It was the right wind, cloud cover, good water. And this time I went to the flats. And I basically started at uh, Rockport. And I fished south all the way to the Corpus Christi Ship Channel. Uh, now you local guys know how, what kind of distance that is. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I spent that long in one day on the water. Uh, it was, it was a, it was a long day and it was a lot of water to cover under the most ideal conditions that you could ask for. And normally this time of year, I would have caught redfish till I was sick of catching them. And in that stretch from Rockport to the Corpus Christi ship channel, I had one strike and uh, I don't, I think it was a skipjack. Uh, <laughs> it was on a soft plastic and I just got a glimpse of him because he hit pretty close to the boat. And, uh, I saw no redfish. I saw no trout. Uh, bait was almost non-existent. Uh, the little bit of bait that I saw were big mullet. <clears throat> the, uh, this time of year when you're fishing, I don't care what kind of lure you're fishing, uh, when you're retrieving it back to the boat, there'll be a herd of, of uh, bait fish following it, especially pin perch and, and needle gar and all that kind of stuff. And of a, of a jillion casts that I made, I have yet to see a bait fish follow it in. Uh, that's not to say that they're not going to show up later. Uh, you know, it could be that the bad winter and the hard freeze and all that uh, has got everything pushed back. They, uh, there may be bait show up, uh, you know, as it warms up, as we start getting into summer. I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I haven't heard... Uh, I haven't heard Parks and Wildlife net survey thing yet. I know they've reduced the limits from the JFK Causeway south all the way to uh, to Mexico. They've cut down the trout <clears throat> limits and size and all that. North of there, they haven't done anything yet. The uh, This second trip that I'm talking about, where I fish from Rockport all the way to the ship channel, uh, the mangroves are dead. I, I've never seen anything like it. They, uh, 
I fished miles and miles of uh, mangrove shoreline. And uh, I don't even remember the 83 freeze killing the mangroves, but uh, they are they are dead. They look like they've been, they almost look like they've been set on fire. Uh, there's absolutely no no greenery on them, no, no nothing. Uh, it killed them all the way to the roots, I guess. The, uh, the few video, some of the local guys that I watch some of their videos, they're, uh, they're doing videos and, and mo they're catching one or two fish, uh, in a video. Uh, well, it's one or two more than I caught, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, uh, maybe my skills have waned. But I give it the old college try twice <laughs> for a long time. But anyway, back to the to the deal about this video. Uh, I want to know uh, what you guys have experienced, uh, what you what what you've seen, and what your experience has been fishing since the freeze. Uh, I don't want to know your secret fishing spots or none of that. I just want to know. Uh, general, you know, Lagoon, Corpus Bay, Rockport, you know, just a, just an area that, that where you fish and what you've seen and found. Uh, maybe y'all are, are having a better experience than I am. Uh, but as it stands right now, I'm, uh, I'm going to give it a little more time and, uh, We've still we're still getting some little northers coming in, and see if the uh, see if the bait activity picks up. Maybe the, some more fish will show up. Uh, I haven't seen, like I said, I just haven't seen anybody doing much good in videos. Uh, the only one that was even remotely uh, good, and almost all the fish that's been caught have been small. Uh, and trout just I mean the videos I've seen I could count the number of trout that's been caught on one hand uh, most of it's redfish and a lot of them are small uh, not not many keepers being caught that I've seen but anyway like I said uh, get down in the comments and let me know uh, what your experience has been uh, I've told you what mine's been and uh, like I said, no, uh, no specifics, just general locations. And uh, let me know what y'all are finding since the freeze. And uh, anyway, that's that's about it for now. We'll see what happens in the future. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.